Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Blackjack. I am Blackjack Aviani. My lovely co-host Athena is still in bed, as it is ass o'clock right now. Uh, goodness golly, I have my Nintendo controller shirt. I have my Animal Crossing cards. <clears throat> I have my Creating a Champion book. Very lovely book. I just wish they had released it in, like, uh, soft cover or something. I have my villager figure here in his Nintendo shirt. And you know what the heck, I have Cammy with me right now. You know, why not? I have Tara Branford. <laughs> I have Lugia, of course. This is one with um, posable, it's got wires in it, so. Ah! <laughs> And, you know, just for the heck of it, I've got Detective Pikachu here. He is so soft, oh my goodness. But uh, if, you've seen, if you've seen the movie, you know that it's just slightly uncomfortable to be cuddling with it. Just uh, think about the end of the movie. So, I put together um, a bingo card, as one does. Um... The Free Space is Smash DLC character because um, I believe it's been confirmed that we're getting one. <sighs> My, um... Oh, pardon me, like I said, it's ass o'clock right now. Uh, my prediction um, with the way Microsoft has been hyping this as um, a big deal, uh, that the Nintendo event has a big deal, uh, it is going to be Banjo Kazooie. My want is, of course, Tara Bradford. Hi. Okay. So, yes, these are the straightest lines I could make. I'm not very coordinated. Okay, so, Sword and Shield Starter Revolutions. I don't honestly think we're going to get that, though. Um, I think they're going to save that for a uh, Pokemon-specific Direct. A new Mario Tennis character. They seem uh, incredibly dedicated to that game as far as... Uh, as far as new content and everything. Astral Chain information. Remember, that was the new Platinum game uh, that they introduced a few months ago. At least three ports of the last squeezes of the Wii U. Uninteresting Damon X Vach in a trailer. That could be the best game ever made, but the trailers bore me to tears. I just... It's so, so uninteresting. They just do not grab me what all, whatsoever. <sighs> a previous Elder Scrolls game. Remember, they gave us Skyrim pretty close to launch. <clears throat> I played the crap out of that. And then I put it down and have no desire to play it again. I don't know why. I enjoyed myself every time I played it. I even got extremely emotional. <laughs> to the point where I absolutely had. Like, when it turned out that my actions led to the invasion of Whiterun, I ran back there. I apologized to Lydia profusely and proposed on the spot. I actually wanted to propose to Mule the Lioness, but uh, I didn't want to take her away from the town that she loved. And <sighs> Some sort of hints of a new Mario game. E information about the Xbox Live thing, I know that we're going to have something about that. An updated Switch console information, like... I don't know, larger screen, longer battery life, um, basically just the Switch 2.0, uh, untitled Goose Game date, I mean, come on, that game looks incredible. I want to play as a horrible goose. That's not enough. <laughs> some sort of confirmation that they're working on a new Zelda game. I know we're going to get um, okay. 
Why can't I remember the name of the game? <laughs> well, I'll tell you why, because it's ass o'clock. Oh, heavens. Uh. You know the one, he's on an island, uh, wind fish, etc. Okay. Animal Crossing at freaking long last. Animal freaking crossing at long last is what I wrote, yes. Uh, the Free Space Smash DLC character. Really terribly, horribly awful green screen effects like we got last year with Reggie and... Come on. Okay, new project with Ubisoft and or Mario vs. Rabbids 2. I just have a feeling in my gut. Okay, some sort of Mario Kart collection. I think that would be really fun. Uh, update on Metroid Prime 4. Remember, they had to scrap the whole project and start again from the beginning. Um, Dark Souls 2 or Bloodborne release on... Um, Hopefully, if they give us two, they'll also give us three at either the same time or a few months later. Uh, jokes about Doug Bowser's name. Uh, some sort of popular PC game port, like Overwatch or something like that. Um, what are popular PC games right now? Uh, I don't know, maybe The Sims. It's been on... Nintendo systems before, it's been on PlayStation, etc. I don't know if it's been on Xbox, but... I don't know. Some sort of Final Fantasy NES slash SNES collection. Please, please bring my girl to the Switch somehow. Uh, more information about Bayonetta 3, all we know is it exists. I feel really bad for the people who, like have this at like 3 a.m. or whatever. I think the worst would be like 5 a.m. because if it's 3 a.m. you could probably just stay up for it, but provided you're not like a school kid. Yeah, at least two reissues of old classics from ancient times. Not just like how they do like old games on their Well, on the eShop, but also on, like, um, they give them to the people who bought the online. <clears throat> but, like, something classic, you know. Uh, some sort of Pokemon side game, please, 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 please. And, you know, some new fighting game. I'm thinking some new IP. <sighs> oh, my heavens. <laughs> As you can see over here in the corner, however, see that's the opposite way to me. Uh, my wants, FF8 port. Oh wait, yay! That was the only thing in the square thing yesterday that made me go, yes! <laughs> uh, just that, that was really cool. And when they said it was coming to the Switch, Rub my dirty seed hands all over that. <clears throat> Tear it and smash. <clears throat> Something with parrots, as usual. You know, first time I put that on there, we got the Takatus in Mario Odyssey, so it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. <clears throat> Untitled Goose Game release date, yes. Uh, Sword and Shield, Starter Evolutions, um, a me based game. I really like Tomodachi Life. <laughs> uh, Terra and Smash, the Final Fantasy collection I mentioned earlier, a new Mario Kart with Captain Falcon. We only really got a port of Mario Kart 8, and, you know, I think it would be interesting uh, to see a new one with Captain Falcon. I mean, why haven't they put him in yet? They put freaking Link, they put Isabel and Villager, they put the Inklings, and they have two uh, F-Zero stages. Link's Awakening, that's the name of the... Uh, that's the name of the game that they have, but... Uh, that they're going to have info on today. Okay. 
uh, Terra in Smash, please. Something that really grabs me, like a RPG about birds or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, seriously, give us Terra in Smash, you cowards. And Pokemon Conquest 2 or Pokemon Dynasty. Those, um, those I think would be uh, the best options here. And right now, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna pause this until the, uh, event actually starts. So I will see you in a few minutes. It, right now it's 8.54, so hopefully I will not be waiting long. You will not be waiting at all. You see why I don't use the chat for this thing? A load of crap no one cares about. Well, everyone's going to care about something. God. Look at these people! Problem is, I have to have that on so I know that it's actually running. So I have to sit here. Okay, guys, you know, a well-timed meme is, is funny. Just repeating them over and over and over again is not, okay? It's like any other sort of running joke. You don't just say the punchline over and over. You have to build up to it. Come on. Super Mario Galaxy gets, 3 gets announced and we'll eat a whole sheet of paper. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, some of these comments are pretty funny. But still. Oh, yes, yes. God, about damn time. Thank you. Two, one, five, jazz hands. Okay, give us something good. We are familiar with the concept of the switch, yes. Okay, yeah. Well, this is badass already. A horse? Who rides a horse? Is this Erdrick? I know nothing about Erdrick, really. I see that pack, though. A very Dragon Quest thing to have. Yep. Oh, oh, it's the one from Eleven. The hero draws near. Of course, it draws near. Just the hero, not what? What's the word they used for him in the trailer yesterday? Illuminary. Come on, if we were going to get a Toriyama character, couldn't we get Chrono? Please? I'm going to get some slimes. Da, da, da. We got someone else. I kind of figured we'd get someone else, yep. purple hair? Or am I just thinking because he looks his trunks his hair? Yep. Oh, oh, it is that. Oh, we're getting so many of them. <laughs> we're getting all the other heroes. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no wonder they went with the hero instead of the Illuminary. I like that they did draws near. I don't think anyone saw this guy. Crackle trash. Kaklang! <laughs> well, there's my free space all filled. Okay, not just with Dragon Quest, but... I thought they were going to finish it off with that. Luminary, yeah. It's always a hero of light. You know, we always hear these games and, you know... Balance between light and dark must be maintained, but we never hear about the heroes of dark who have to restore a land that's losing to the overwhelming tyranny of light. It's always the tyranny of dark. Come on. You're 11, aren't you? No, sir, I'm an adult. <laughs> Isn't 11 his, like, actual default name? Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. Well, I mean, this someone Nintendo from my Direct list ain't getting in. We'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? Bowser jokes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. There's been a bit of a mix up. You're not the right Bowser. Sorry, but I'm the right Bowser for this presentation. <laughs> I love how he's just accepted that this is his fate. <laughs> Not this way. No, no. This way. They're spending a little too much bye bye. time on this, though. Maybe next time. Are you related? No, but we get that a lot. Well, let's get back to it. Please, take it away. Hi, everyone. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to join you for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, this Doug is our Bowser. chance to show the world we have Hello, games for Koizumi. every type of player on Nintendo Switch. Whether you love action, RPGs, wow, or you're just looking for something new, we've moment. got you covered. Okay, so let's get a look at one of those games by taking a tour of Luigi's Mansion 3. Yay! Let's go! I'm just looking forward to the zero punctuation review on this, given his whole thing with having a crush on Luigi. <laughs> Luigi's invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. <laughs> Shouldn't the fact that there's a ghost Luigi's dog there mansion be three. troubling to him? This hotel is much more than meets the eye, for not long after Luigi arrives, Things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts after all, and they're rather aggressive. Simply scare them with the straw bulbs and suck them up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and other new features as well. Yeah, Poltergeist First, the TV. slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. It helps to get other ghosts in on the action. 
This guy, I know Next he kind of sounds spooky, but shot. he sounds like he's just channeling Find flame. the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string and you can destroy furniture. Toilet ghost. It's this is of course, Japan, they gotta have a toilet ghost. Toilet ghost. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to gang up on you. In such situations, a ghost oh yeah, wielding bread. The powerful air pressure released will blow away ghosts. I hope they make a ghost toast time. You need a little air. AKA dead bread, I guess. Ah, uh, we simply can't overlook the latest invention from Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. <laughs> Change between Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi. Luigi to just kind of seems like he's slumping and over when that happens. And if he controller to a friend, he makes for a great co-op partner. But proceed with caution. Gooigi and water definitely don't mix. Now, Looks please like direct your attention crap. to the scare scraper. Spooky? Sure. Yet it also houses From the outside, it looks kind of like the modern apartment building from uh, Animal Crossing. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads and face any challenges the tower throws at you together. Which Animal Crossing does go on my list of once, but I kind of figured it was obvious. What a place to wake up in. A haunted hotel with floor after floor of oddities. Many traps and mischievous ghosts. <laughs> Someday I should get my life. What will befall our missing Mario and friends? And his dear brother Luigi. <laughs> Good. Their fate rests in your hands. And we already know from the Simon trailer that if he dies, he can just bring himself back to life. So that was Luigi's Mansion 3, the latest game in a series that it I looks so plain. Uh, him and Quay and we can look forward they're to seeing some of the new gameplay elements skins. that await in this strange hotel as we dive deeper into this title on Nintendo Treehouse, live at E3 2019. We'll be streaming content, some you've never seen before, right from the show floor, okay. including live gameplay of Super Mario Maker 2. And on day three, our Treehouse staff will get their hands Mario on Maker some two. promising indie games that are new to Nintendo Switch. Oh. While Go you on. watch today's Nintendo Direct, keep an eye out for this icon to learn what other games will appear on Nintendo Treehouse Sorry. live at E3 I'm, I'm still at the mercy of allergies. You won't want to miss it. Or this. Have a look. Netflix, huh? Overslept too long. Far too long. Oh, this is the Dark Crystal, huh? Sing your story. What has become of... Oh! No! What have they done? There's a Dark Crystal game, too. For an age, evil takes root. Darkness spreads. But from this dark light, brighter than the three okay. suns, they spark strategy life. RPG. Heroes of Thra, strong and brave. Strength and bravery alone will not save Thra. No, unlock your true potential. Unite as one. Only together. Lock my true potential. What is to come? Heroes of Thra. That sounds interesting. I'm really digging these graphics. Age of Resistance Tactics. That sounds promising. There we go. Link's Awakening. I remember the name now. Castaway will seek the truth. First, he looked awakened. <laughs> now we need to find out uh, how to pronounce that. Koholin? Koholin?
<laughs> That's me. Okay, so they still are fishing. Oh dear, I hate those kinds of sections. Yikes. Ooh. Oh, that broken box. Dumpy! Is he in the original? You can make your own dungeon, huh? It looks big enough to hold a fairy inside, you think? Oh, oh boy. Sounds like a good release date. Secret of Mana? Now you have the tree and everything. My mom seems to be walking. Action RPG Trials of Mana is getting a global release on Nintendo Switch. I think that might be the name of an actual creature. This level of ugly. Set destiny in motion. With the power of mana. Trials of mana. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Issue of an older game. A collection of mana. I'm looking yeah. for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Oh! I'm thinking I thought that was girl. Geralt. Geralt. That's gonna be awkward to play on the bus. Oh. But they never did the first two. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? You will come, won't you? Marco. Years Marco ago, from reading we Victoria. fought here as classmates. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. What should we do, teachers? Kill every last one of them! Okay. We're probably going to get a release date there, too, aren't we? Still. We have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the straw. Well, some may argue that yours is an unreasonable idea of justice, so... Even the darkness itself. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! That sounds good. Teacher. Both sides of time are revealed to you. What shall you do? She looks like an older aunt from Radiant Historia. I'm gonna keep banging on that game. Banging on that game. Until people How play it. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. Hmm. 
Interesting. It's sooner than I thought it would be. Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch is the only gaming console you can play, not only on your TV at home, but anywhere you go. Down right. In fact, with a system like this, it might be fun to play Resident Evil at a location like this. You gonna go to a spooky house and play it? Is this seven? Are we actually getting seven? Eh, there's two people there, so I guess not. Oh, this is perfect, right? Could be, yeah. I mean, it is the evil residence. Oh no, wait, this is actual people here. Plus, my screen is kind of screwing up, as you can see. Okay, let's do this. Resident Evil. Fascinating. Can you open it? Try. Just what's through there. Oh. That's a big nope. Close the door again. Do the big Simpson thing. You come in, come put your hat down, okay, okay. circle around, grab your hat, and leave. Oh, jeez, I am at their mercy. Yeah, see, like that. They're busting out of walls to get up my nose. Oh. Naked insidious giant serpent will swallow me whole. Ooh, two more. Five. Isn't that usually considered the worst one? Resident Evil. Five and six are you generally considered the worst ones, aren't they? Playing a Resident Evil game in a place like that might not be my way to play, but... I bet you could find your way to play, don't you think? Sure, why not? For now, please take a look. Okay. Dead. <laughs> was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are gonna get weird today. Hey, see! That was unexpected. This kind of says no more heroes to me. <laughs> Get some. As you can see, things got all funky real quick. There's probably some planet-eating type dude waiting for me up ahead. All yoked and powerful and oh, trying to take over the world. It is no more heroes. He would be good in Smash. Remember, um, uh, they said that he fo he's supposed to focus more on his wrestling moves and his beam saber, there are no beam katana. This world? Oh, but there totally are. My name is Travis Touchdown. I'm the last hero around, here to save the world. I'm also just a passing assassin. Now let's do this. A passing Start what? The game. Is that that lady who lied to everyone? Pardon? Yay! Damned city, population crazed. Yeah? This is Kaiser. He led an elite team of contracts during the war. Hungry beast! HB is actually a cyborg. I love him so much. This is Miss Harakiri and her alien gut bucket. They survived by merging it's together during the alien wars. So static -y. The oh my god. The sweetest bug you'll ever meet. You soiled my arm. Yeah. Well, not everything. I imagine your teammates must stay alive. 
Oh, uh, we have to, there's no friendly fire. I imagine that if we don't have the guts now, they will be, in fact, still roll over us in our... Yeah, I was thinking when she said Contra. And online multiplayer. Okay, I know a lot of people have been... Oh. Konami code. Okay, now let's see, it has to be uninteresting for me to mark this on my list. Yeah, so far it looks like, like it's going to get marked on my list. It's your call, rookie. The battle's already started? If you get in our way, we will eliminate you. Sixteen, what are you doing here? Do we have identities on all of the uh, Android slash cyborg? I mean, we know eight. But other than that... Yeah, I'm just not into this. Interesting eyes, though. That can't save the trailer. <laughs> oh, cool, you play as that creature. <laughs> You're playing in an interesting case. Oh, there's someone riding it. So you seem meant to be playing as that. Okay. Or not. Maybe you are playing as that creature. Oh! You know, for such a storied game, though, this was a terrible trailer. Konnichiwa. Hello. Ooh, I'm Shinya ooh, Takahashi bang, 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 from bang, bang, Nintendo. Bang. And that was Earlier it. this month, we held a Pokemon Direct for the latest games in the series. Pokemon Sword. And Pokemon Shield. You know, you the could just say from Game Sword Free and Shield, like Chipotle. everyone else does. The location of your new adventure. And some new Pokemon you'll encounter there. Yay! It will be a while until these games launch. So please stay tuned. Mm -hmm. The box art doesn't look very good either. By the way, either. in these games, you can use certain functions of the Pokeball Plus accessory allowing yeah. you to take a Pokemon from one of these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. Oh, okay, like the Pokemon. You may not be able to use the device as a game controller, but if you spend some quality time with a favorite Pokemon of yours, then something good might happen. In the Nintendo booth at this year's E3, fans can play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield for the first time anywhere in the world. Sounds good. In this gameplay demo, you can challenge one of the gyms in the Galar region, the one and only Water Gym, where the Water-type gym leader Nessa will be there waiting for you. If you're attending this like year's Nessie. show, I encourage you to experience the battle between Dynamax Pokémon, oh. which is an advanced strategy from this region. It's a Water-type? Also, immediately after this Nintendo Direct, Stay tuned for live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. I thought they were saying, we're going to put the demo live. up online. And now I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. It looks familiar. I don't know where from though. Okay, we're supposed to know who this guy is. As you know, Earth is currently under extra-dimensional attack. 
Kim Harris. Oh, okay. This like is that's okay. Just seen for the first time. But that guy's that design kind of reminded me of all of humankind. Facing down the end of the world. See, if you just stand there, no blood, sweat, years you deserve research, what you freaking get. We finally made it. The ultimate counter chimeric weapon. By neurologically syncing captured chimeras with human operators, we established control and made powerful allies. Hang on a and second. So it's just Pokemon Ranger? To the legions. give you some parting advice. Your power, it's not the blessing you think it is. When a Legionis and a Legion are perfectly synchronized, it's like they're two parts of one body. No use! The override release isn't going through! That's impossible. And when hey, doesn't he look like he's from Borderlands? To die, the Legion's survival instincts kick in to save it. No okay. way! There's no way! What good could this possibly be? It's a long shot, but it's the only shot we have. It's all up to you, my friend. A blessing from also the Marco. Or maybe I should say, a curse. We can't turn back now. There must be someone they know. I've got to know the whole truth. He's still alive out there. I know he is. He. Their dad, perhaps? I don't know. I could buy them being related. Is it John Romero? Romero's Rye. So there's a Prohibition game? Well, those are some Tommy guns. That is a flapper. Empire of Skin, huh? I do love swing music. Death by all is not an honor they have earned. Okay. They deserve something much worse. Yeah. Even with this stone at my command, this may not be a battle we can win. Let's see. Whatever's happening, we can beat it. Keep fighting. Okay, yeah. We we'll get you. Jump in any time now, darlings. Who is that? I don't recognize that character. Oh, I know him. They will pay for what they've done. Yeah, it's been a while since they've seen Electra. All hope is fleeting in the face of Thanos. Like Electra's doing that chummy thing, turning upside down and just, you know. Kelly's really gonna like that. Netbug is really gonna like that. And of course, Thanos is in it. Who here had honestly heard of Thanos before the before he was in the movie? Oh. I mean, I think I had vaguely heard of him. Oh yeah, yeah. Cadence of Hyrule. And her name is Cadence. <laughs> I know Crypt of the Necro Dancer ends up at, um, oh yeah, another Olympics game. I forgot about these. 
uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer ends up at um, uh, doing some quick quite a bit. So uh, I bet that was very good. Uh, uh, probably um, everywhere, I guess. Oh, that's fun. Rock climbing isn't an Olympic sport, or is it? Is that something they added? Alright. So, what do you think so far? Now for some follow-up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. Please, take a look. Well, that could be anything. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. Is this Bayonetta 3? Your attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway package <gasps> charter flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island. We're heading on an island? And there's voice acting? Nook Incorporated for this. That looks like a new kind of bug. You do crafting? Oh, that's cute. Oh, Tom in your leaf shirt. So you literally help build the town. So they got a little harvest moon element going on too. Pick up the tree and take it with you. And the dresses actually go down. Yes, I can do the 49,800 bells. Originally, we announced this title as a 2019 release. However, we need to change its release date to March 20th of 2020. To ensure that the game is the best it can be, we must ask you to wait a little longer we can than we wait. thought. We can wait! We hope you look forward to the latest installment of Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah! No. On Nintendo Treehouse Live, the game's producer, Mr. Nogami, and the director, Ms. Kyogoku, will come on for a live demonstration of some early moments in the game. So please stick around until it starts. Now, I'm not going to do a reaction to that, but I will watch it later. coming to Nintendo Switch from Nintendo and our partners. So, I mean, I have a feeling my reaction is to show you what's in store for 2019 and beyond. Let's have a look. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. Okay, we knew about this one, didn't we? Oh my god, it makes me sad. Oh! Can I see Apis? Hey, something with carrot! Elder Scrolls! I thought that was already out. New Horizon. Name is five. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Okay, Crystal Chronicles. 
which I would not be able to read if I didn't know the game already. G Toriyama, how come Nintendo lets you have two games? Okay, I'm just gonna guess that says Stranger Things down there, because I cannot read it. Okay, yeah, we're finally getting that, so we're also getting Munchkin soon, too. Super Lucky's Tale? Okay. Alright. Okay, yeah, we heard about this. We forgot about the little car. We're getting another villain? We're getting another villain. <laughs> but we already saw you guys. Oh god. Carol, really? And then the real ones are gonna come out and kick their ass. Carol has to remember he did this last time. Raring to go! <laughs> They're all cheering! <laughs> Oh my god, there are only two slots left. There are only two slots left. Don't do my girl dirty like this. Put her in one of the two slots, please. That was someone on my, uh, should get in list. Yay! Put Tara in, you cowards! <laughs> Put Tara in, you cowards! That obviously wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? Please stay tuned for more information about DLC in the future. As for Nintendo Switch, we have more games in development beyond what we've shown you today. Well, yeah, no crap. I'm looking forward to the day we can introduce them to you. Speaking of, before we end this direct, I actually have one more thing to show you. Bayonetta 3? Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Microbes! It's microbes! This is a new Zelda game. It is a new Zelda game! Oh my god, is it a Breath of the Wild sequel? Palutena, you've seen better days. Either that or it's gonna blast into space. 
Oh, you know shit's getting serious when there's a heartbeat sound. everybody and welcome to E3 2019. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America and he is Bill Trinan from Nintendo Treehouse. We're here at the Nintendo booth. We're going to spend a couple minutes talking about what we just saw in that Nintendo Direct. Okay. And we're going to give you a sneak peek of the booth. So Bill, okay. just, I don't know about you, but I think there's a lot of folks the, out there that are pretty excited about what they just the saw. The games we just saw. Well, Doug, I think it goes to that question the that cut I, it. myself, am a huge fan of The Legend of Zelda series. Uh, like a lot of people, I put there's a lot Nessa of time back there. into the Breath of the Wild. I remember her so, name, because it's like Nessie. Personally, I am incredibly excited that we're not getting new DLC. We are getting a full sequel, a brand new game in development for Nintendo Switch. Um, so ho hopefully everyone out there is excited I as well. So. Um, certainly if you're a Zelda fan, there was a lot to like in this Nintendo Direct. I mean, like, a lot the of other things as well. Uh, really lots of games for lots of players from Dragon stuff, Quest XI but... S to oh even things God. like Panzer Dragoon, uh, the Dark Crystal, Astral Chain looking great. Was there anything in the Direct that stood out to you? For me personally, I'm looking forward to Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm a huge fan of the series. And I look forward to being able to walk through this, the various levels of this spooky hotel with my sidekick, Gooigi. And the thing I'm actually really looking forward to is the new Poltergeist and its updated right uh, capabilities, including the slam move. Uh, okay, it's going to be a lot of so fun killing, have, killing ghosts, I'm, I'm with, killing ghosts my, with ghosts. That's right. And it feels uh, really good, too. Yeah, I, I have a feeling this game's going to uh, suck up um, a little bit of my time. You just did that, didn't you? That was a dad joke, sorry. Uh, <laughs> You know, one other thing I'm really excited about is uh, is what we got on the floor here, and that is uh, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon uh... Shield. That's right. I think this year is probably the most space we've ever okay. dedicated in our booth to a Pokemon game. Uh, the booth looks fantastic. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take give you a quick sneak peek of that. Um, it's themed on the water gym, and what we've done is we have recreated the, uh, the gym leader battle arena. So everybody freaking, here at E3 um, is going to get a chance to play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield in the environment of freaking, the gym leader battle arena, and I think that's going to be really great card. for them. Bingo card, that's what it's called. Bingo we have something card. special for everybody watching live. Uh, our very first segment on Nintendo Treehouse Live this year at E3 is going to be Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, and we're going to give people a look at a much bigger part uh, of that game. Um, and I think that the team is almost ready, so I'm going to head over there in just a second, and we're going to get that kicked off. Fantastic. Uh, so th great. thank you, everybody, for watching, and stay tuned for some Treehouse Live coming up right away. Great. Thanks, everyone, for viewing. Make sure you tune in next for Treehouse Live, and tune in for the next three days to Treehouse Live. We'll have believe, discussions with... I can't believe we're getting a sequel. And over here, the only thing... In this entire column that we got, it was the thing I put down as a joke. Something with parrots as usual, because we got Nino Kuti Riff of the White Witch, and that is Apis in it, and he is a cute little parrot who wears a little bow tie. Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, I mean, and we got the FF8 port, but. You know, we knew about that from yesterday. Oh my god. Oh my god. So here. Um I um I brought up worked on the full card here. Um we got Astral Chain information. We got an uninteresting Damon X Vacuna trailer, specifically uninteresting. A previous Elder Scrolls game, uh well, Blades, uh hints of a new Mario game. They just gave us a new Mario game. Uh, we're working on a new Zelda game, yes. We got Bowser jokes, we got frickin' Animal Crossing at long last, and we got two DLC characters. Well, by which I mean we actually got, uh, six. Banjo and Kazooie. I mean, they are two different characters. And we got the four heroes. Draws near. That's such a cute pun. Like, it's not a pun, but a reference. But guys, come on. Don't do my girl dirty like this. There are only two character slots left. Come on. 
You know you want to see Tara Branford in Smash. Still no word on Untitled Goose Game. I know it got delayed a little, but still. We might have gotten popular PC game port. I, I honestly don't know what's popular right now. <laughs> um, Dark Crystal, that came out of nowhere. I was actually crying at the Animal Crossing. <laughs> New Horizons. You're on an island. You literally help build the town. I hope that means you have more control over um, your like your villagers moving in and stuff. <sighs> and moving out. Like I really want there to be an option where you can ask, it, even if they limit it to just one villager to stay forever. That I'm going to download onto my Switch. I got a larger memory card just for it. Um, so I can have it with me all the time. Oh my god, I feel drained, and not just because it's ass o'clock. Well, right now it's more butts o'clock, but still. And, in a few minutes, there's going to be a new death battle coming up. Uh, Weiss versus Mitsuru, and that's going to be interesting. Once again, don't do my girl dirty like that, but in this case, my girl is, uh, it's a real. Anyway, um, I noticed something. For the last long while, I've been telling you guys, please thank my neighbor for letting me use her internet, and not one of you has thanked her for letting me use her internet. So I want to say thanks. Say, thank you, Blackjack's neighbor, for letting Blackjack use your internet. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm actually, you know how I say when I take my glasses off, it's always something serious. This is, I'm crying, but they're happy tears. I don't know if you can, can you see it? I'm actually crying, but I'm so happy. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm actually crying. Happy too. 